if a b c are unit vectors that is mod a is equal to mod b is equal to mod c is equal to 1 and such that a dot b is equal to a dot c is equal to 0 which indicates that a is perpendicular to b a dot b 0 means a is perpendicular to b and a dot c means a is perpendicular to c that is a is perpendicular to vector a is perpendicular to both each of the vectors to both the vectors b and c vectors b and c and hence we can express therefore we can express vector a is equal to some lambda times of b cross c since it is perpendicular to both the vectors b and c and angle between b and c is given pi by 6 so if considered angle between b and c is pi by 6 so let us consider mod of b cross c by the definition of cross product and applying the mod we have mod b into mod c and sine of the angle between the two vectors b and c so let theta be the angle theta be the angle between b and c which is given pi by 6 so which is equal to mod b is 1 into 1 into sin theta is nothing but sin pi by 6 sin pi by 6 is sin 30 degrees so we can add 1 into 1 into 1 by 2 which is 1 by 2 so mod of b cross c is equal to so 1 by 2 so and then from 1 from 1 vector a is equal to lambda times of b cross c let us apply mod on both the sides mod of a vector is equal to mod of lambda times of b cross c which is equal to or which implies mod a is equal to lambda times of mod b cross c since a is a unit vector so 1 is equal to so lambda times of mod of b cross c is 1 by 2 so we can write lambda is equal to 2 or we can take here plus or minus since mod is applied so therefore we can write vector a is equal to therefore vector a is equal to lambda times of b cross c that is plus or minus 2 times of b cross c so this is first one and now to prove that scalar triple product a plus b b plus c and c plus a should be equal to plus or minus 1 so consider consider box a plus b b plus c and c plus a which can also be written a plus b dot b plus c cross c plus a since the scalar triple product since the scalar triple product a b c which is equal to a dot of b cross c so let us write here a plus b dot b cross c let us do it b cross c b plus c cross c plus a that is b cross c plus b cross a plus c cross c plus c cross a and then applying a plus b a plus b dot b cross c plus a plus b dot b cross a and since we know that the cross product itself c cross c will be equal to 0 so we can write this as 0 
and then and then a plus b dot c cross a which is equal to a dot of b cross c let us simplify it a dot of b cross c plus b dot of b cross c plus a dot of b cross a plus b dot of b cross a plus a dot of c cross a plus b dot of c cross a and since we know that in scalar triple product if any two vectors are equal then it is equal to zero so here in this scalar triple product two vectors b and b are equal so this will be treated zero and here in this also two vectors are equal so zero so here also two vectors are equal zero and here also two vectors are equal zero and so we have a dot of b cross c that is box a b c or let us write only a dot b cross c a dot of b cross c plus again here b dot of c cross c and also we have in scalar triple product box a b c is equal to box of b c a is equal to box of c a b so here b c a and a b c both are equal so we can add two times of a dot of b cross c since b dot of c cross a is equal to we can write it as a box b c a which is equal to box a b c and box a b c is a dot of b cross c and from first one so two times a dot from the first equation we can also write b cross c is equal to plus or minus 1 by 2 times of vector a so we can write 1 by 2 times plus or minus a vector so which is equal to plus or minus a dot a so that is plus or minus mod a square and since mod a is equal to 1 we can write plus or minus 1 so therefore we can consider box of a plus b b plus c and c plus a that is scalar triple product answer is plus or minus 1 so and hence we put the second one also